Hello, I'm a VX Toy Cat, and when most people think about the minecart or the boat inside of Minecraft, they think about them as being forms of transport. They're some of the only things in Minecraft which you, the player, can physically move around your world, even if that's very slow if you don't have minecart tracks or you don't have uh, water near you, but you can physically move these things yourself around your Minecraft world. So most people think about them as being a form of transport, but because Minecraft doesn't have a category for that, they actually fall into the same category of items as mobs. They are entities in Minecraft, but they're entities that you, the player, can move around. As you've seen in this uh, you know, video so far, we can move both these things around and we can also physically exist on the boats, which means they're halfway between being a block and not being a block. And that's where today's video comes in because I wanted to talk about some weird ways you can use and sort of abuse this to make some modern day art. Whether that's to make yourself a little tower that's perfectly straight or maybe not so straight, whether that's to make yourself uh, you know, a beautiful little stack of things that are going to confuse people, or whether that's to make a technically functional staircase for real. I mean, going up this one is going to break it but you can go down this staircase just fine and it's technically working uh, it's very strange what you can do with minecarts and boats and today i wanted to show you some very strange examples so hopefully you do all enjoy let's dive straight into it so yeah i'm gonna start by mentioning the fact that you can do this in either survival or creative of course in survival it's a lot harder so today we'll be using creative but all of this is technically possible because all you need to do is take your item whether it's a boat or whether it's a minecart from its natural environment say water and you want to push it out from that natural environment so it can say fall on top of your stack of already fallen boats. So you can do something like this and have just a weird sticky out boat. And if we want, we can land on that boat and we can stand on pretty much nothing. It's very strange, but it's a thing you can do, again, because they're gravity affected, but also player affected blocks that can move around that aren't blocks that are entities. Very strange stuff. And we're gonna start here with minecarts because I think they're a lot easier to make in a way that you might actually consider art in survival, because all you need to do is have some powered rails, have a minecart, and then push it off the side. If you do this, what will naturally happen is all the minecarts are gonna follow the exact same trajectory and they're gonna end up making themselves a weird bit of a diagonal curve because they're all following, again, they're all falling down at the exact same speed, but they're falling at a very slightly different, you know, like place because of the fact that even though they're all going the same speed into what should be the same place, they're gonna fall on the minecart below them because as you can see down there from the, the, the boats and the minecarts, uh, boats and minecarts entities can stack on top of each other. And that means that what you're gonna see is what we've just done there with all of that pushing is creating rough Roughly, not perfectly, a, a you know a thing which is going to angle towards the left. If we want to make a perfect kind of curve, eventually this will happen. If we do it from higher, we'll make a further out one. And yeah, this is I would say the easiest form of like minecart art to make because if you want to make it like go in a different direction, all you have to do is add another block at the end here. So just as simple as this, add an extra block of um, you know <laughs> add an extra block of whatever you're doing, add an extra block of cloud rails, and now you can see we're going to push it in a different direction because again, it's that simple. Oh wow, look, now it's gone back that way. We can now start pushing things in the opposite direction. And if we want, we can make even lettering and stuff with this because all you need to do is know that, oh yeah, an extra block makes it go a bit further. And then you can start really making these fun, uh, at least in my opinion, these fun pieces of art that are going further and further. And <laughs> again, sometimes you're gonna have some issues because minecarts aren't a perfect science, but they're very close to being a perfect science in terms of where they drop based on their speed. And because of that, you can do stuff like this. <laughs> Look, they're all bouncing off the sides of them. But assuming you don't like that, assuming you think that having minecarts like lazily displayed on the side of each other, again, it's like a problem because they might fall down any moment or something along those lines. You wanna have a perfect stack of minecarts because you think that looks solid, then here's the easiest way to do that. All you need to do is have yourself a block of, uh, you know, something, anything, uh, right in front of where the minecarts should go. And this means that when the minecarts fall, they're gonna hit that and their momentum will be stopped perfectly, which means by just placing minecarts, again, you can make a lot of minecarts very easily and then place them all, uh, you know, Rough them, rush them off the edge just like this. And even though this is resource intensive, uh, what you'll have very, very quickly is a stack of minecarts perfectly on top of one another. As you can see, they are literally perfectly aligned because there's no momentum forwards or backwards. And this means you can make a really cool stack of them if you want to. And then if you want to say, uh, do something like move it a little bit forwards because you want to make say a T-shape. But well, one, you could push this one block further forward. Like, okay, we're going to go over here instead. And you could make it so that they go perfectly one block in front. And what should happen, as you can see right here, Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was unexpected. It lands on the very side of the block and then bounces a little bit, pushes the whole tower at the same time, and then causes some other things, which is 
fun minecart physics that I wasn't expecting. But uh, what you can actually do if you perfectly line this up, or if better, better yet, because if you want to use a half block, we don't have vertical half slabs in Minecraft, but we have something which comes very close in the form of a fence. If you don't know, a fence takes up a block, but it doesn't really take up a block. It takes up half a block because you can go almost all the way towards it. And this means if you push a minecart towards that way, you can go half a block sideways instead. I accidentally pushed it one block too far forwards, but that means you can start stacking on the side here. So if you want to start making a Y for instance, or you just want to have it go a little half block to the right so you can make a tower you can do this block by block because now instead of having this there we could just have instead over here uh, you know a single block and then you can slowly make a perfectly balanced like a diagonal line as opposed to a curved line and that's really fun in my opinion so we can now have another block bring it back to where it was originally and then we can do stuff like this if we want to which in my opinion is beautiful like having minecarts perfectly laid out next to each other I think that's pretty great and yeah this is how you make minecart art here's a few of the basics to do with it obviously you can do some crazy stuff if you want to you can push in weird directions, uphills, round corners. You can cause some slightly weirder physics than this, but if you want to have lots of minecarts placed down in weird stacks like this, then this is how you do it. We're going to talk about some of the weird permeations of that uh, now, because again, the same thing is true for boats. All you need to do is have some way to push water and then push it out from water. Uh, I like fence, uh, you know, uh, using ladders. I like using uh, you know, like uh, pressure plates. There's a few different ways because water in Minecraft works a bit janky in my opinion, but because of the fact you can just like push a, a boat, have it go off the edge, and then it's going to go onto your nice little stack just like that. And again, the same physics apply here. If you want to make a perfect stack, it's very hard in survival, but it's a thing you can do. And uh, yeah, if you're doing this in creative, then you can do it the exact same way. It's obviously faster because you can fly around, you can spawn in blocks, but you can also do something interesting if you turn on cheats, um, you know, use commands, because you can just use the command slash summon and and then minecart. So summon minecart, now we summon a minecart. Move a bit to the left, summon a minecart. Move a bit to the right because that's what we want. Summon a minecart. Move a bit to the right again. And yeah, if you want to do some really complex art, this is probably how you're going to have to do it. Obviously, it's more impressive in survival as most things in Minecraft are. Um, but if you want to just make like, oh yeah, look, here's a tower. It goes left to right to left to right. Or if you want to make a perfect staircase, here's another way you can do that really perfectly. Because the same thing works for boats if you replace the phrase minecart here with boat. As you might just expect, crazily enough, you're going to spawn in a boat instead. And then if you move the boat really far to the left, then you can start making a boat staircase. And again, because boats, generally speaking, when you touch them from the side, they move. But when you've touched them from the top, they don't. They actually work perfectly as a way for you to land onto something. Or if you want to walk down a staircase, you won't touch it. Again, going up the staircase, you're generally going to move it. You're going to break something. But going down the staircase, it works perfectly. No full damage. And even though it's an entity, again, it, it doesn't uh, you know count against you when it comes to falling, which means you can therefore do some really fun stuff with this. So one example would be if you want to stop full damage, all you have to do is jump down, have this big tower here, land inside the tower, and as you can see, I landed inside the tower, and then you know it, it reduces your full damage. Or you can do even better if we want to fall into a minecart tower. Again, same thing. Oh no, we're gonna die, but wait a minute, inside the minecart tower. Just like that, oh, okay, we've, <laughs> we've made it not straight anymore. But let me just show you that this does in fact work in survival, because you might be doubting that. So here we are in survival, we're gonna do the exact same thing, we're gonna fall into the minecart. <laughs> So we're going to do the exact same thing in survival. As you can see, land and then fall into the minecart stack. Then when we jump out the minecart stack, all of that full damage that should have killed us has been absorbed. Obviously, we took the damage from that to the ground. But if you go to one low enough to the ground, or you make a bunch of minecarts deliberately down there to stop you from taking damage, you can avoid taking it all together, which is really nice. And also, this means that you can use it like, let's say this was surrounded by lava, or you just want to get some distance done. You can jump, you can land in the minecart, and then you can go from the top. You can use it to obviously make big stacks upwards. Obviously, you have to surround it by something to stop them falling down. Uh, the minecart elevator is a well-known Minecraft thing. And as you can see, we've got to the top of this little stack right here just by using the left trigger. It's a fun way up. And again, we're going to fall all the way down it because minecarts, you fall through for some reason. Boats, you don't. Don't ask me why the rules are different for each form of transport. Just know that you can abuse them in slightly different ways. So yeah, you can use creative to make this really beautiful or really strange or really functional art. Again, it really depends on what you want from it. Do you want something that can save your life? Do you want something uh, you know that just looks strange? Do you want something that looks beautiful? in a modern art kind of interpretation way? Do you want a staircase? Do you want to just have builds that you can only see from a certain distance? Because entities, if you don't know, they vanish after a certain distance because Minecraft only renders things from so far away. It means that you can have your staircase be entirely invisible, which again, it's really jarring to see, but it's also maybe a fun part of your magic trick. Um, again, these are all options you have, but you can also then take this to the next level using command blocks and make something really strange. 
because placing the blocks by hand or doing it in a you know way where you just keep making the same command it's a it's a fun idea and it's less risky to your entire world but what you can also just do is you can have a, <laughs> a thing like this summon a bunch of minecarts put them in the same block and it's going to slow down your game significantly because these are entities like i said they all have their own physics and then eventually we break that command block and now we have a lot of minecarts in the same space which means now if we break the block below them Apparently, they're all still in the same space. <laughs> so yeah, we have a lot of minecarts all spread out into three blocks now. And yeah, we can basically stack minecarts together. And we can make it so it's kind of like a Russian doll, where there are minecarts in minecarts and minecarts. And the physics of these minecarts are very confusing. Because minecarts stack uh, hanging into each other, it's something Minecraft's never been good at. And it means that, yeah, you can have <laughs> Russian doll minecarts that go super fast, even on land. And uh, yeah, it's incredibly fun, in my opinion. Just to see, again, it's counterintuitive physics where lots of minecarts are in the same block. They go, why are they going in such strange directions? And the answer to that is because they're hitting each other and they're doing it in weird, unpredictable, not necessarily perfect making sense ways. But yeah, you can have lots of minecarts in the same block and you can use that to do some very strange stuff. But let's take this a step further because now we're gonna spawn the minecarts into the air, which means something like this is gonna happen, and then it's gonna keep on spawning them on top of that. So yeah, not only can we have this beautiful stack right here, but we can have the stack increase and increase and increase, and we can do this as long as we like, because apparently, unlike other entities, they do kind of combine together. You can see my frame rate is slowing here. You might not be up to on YouTube, but eventually you're gonna see how like, oh yeah, things are getting jerky here. And this is where you always wanna destroy the command block, just like, it's fun to keep it going, but you can crash your whole world, make them unrecoverable if you're not careful, and then yeah, once things have slowed down a little bit, start pushing this top block and let's see what it does this time. So this time we have flying minecarts almost. They're separating from each other in midair. Very unexpected, I do have to say. And uh, oh man, that is very strange because the physics of the game are slow. Oh, they've gone underwater. And I guess that's where they'll remain for now. <laughs> the cool thing about minecarts though is if they cause too much lag, you can just get away from the previous ones. And then, oh look, they've they've de-rendered, which means they're no longer an issue for me. So this time we're going to do things, but from a little bit higher up and with some higher stakes. I think. Okay, so here you can see we've done the same thing, but they've already started pushing each other, which means as you can see, we're just spewing minecarts everywhere. This should eventually make some beautiful art when it's done. And again, it's beautiful art that can only be uh, you know, seen and it can only slow down the game from a certain distance nearby to it. And in my opinion, this is just beautiful to see. The more of these you have, the harder Minecraft uh, has a time keeping up with it. <laughs> and you can see it makes true random, or like feeling, at least feelings uh, of true randomness that just is it's hard to really explain. So yeah, you've got two options when you're using this to make minecarts. You can stack them together and you can make the weirdest minecart physics I've ever seen, or you can not stack them together and you can instead have them do this, which in my opinion is beautiful in a much better way uh, because <laughs> there's just minecarts everywhere. And this means that once we remove this, which we'll do right now just to prove a point, once we remove this, you can actually traverse this entire area just by jumping in different minecarts. So we jump and then we land in one. Oh look, let's just run around this whole thing. You can make an entire way of getting around your village just by spamming minecarts everywhere, which I think is beautiful in its own little way. Because again, minecarts, even when they're not on rails, you can jump from one to the other to the other, and you've got a pretty impressive range when doing so as well. Have you ever wanted to play Minecraft, but with the stipulation that you can't walk? Well, that's a very strange uh, goal and desire you've got there, but you can totally do it using minecarts, and it's very jarring to see, but it is very much possible using this. And obviously, we can do the exact same thing as you might imagine, but we can make boats instead, so you better believe that's what we're gonna do. So here you can see the way boats seem to work is they will not stack in the same block. Instead, what they'll do is they'll make a tower up to sky height. And I'm starting to think maybe we can use this to our advantage. Maybe we can get above the world build height using this boat stack, which side note should de-render when you get too far away from it, right? But anyway, let's just, let's just let the boat stack all the way to the top and let's see if we can maybe break Minecraft as a whole. So yeah, in case you're curious, like how bad can Minecraft's frame rate get? this bad. I think we're getting about a frame every other second or something like that. And I can't even fly up because the game isn't registering my, my A presses as being down continuously. And yeah, now, now I can't. Okay, we're going to fly away. We're going to pray that the game doesn't notice me. And then we're going to remove that command block. So another pro tip, if you want to slow down your falling to your death because you think to yourself like, oh man, falling's scary in Minecraft, then all you have to do is lower your frame rate enough and lower the game, <laughs> the, the game won't be able to kill you because you'll be falling too slowly. Like, we're, this is this is Minecraft, but we're playing it in Microsoft PowerPoint now, right? Oh man, oh God. This always happens every time I play around command blocks. I always push it a bit too far 
and this ends up happening. I can't even leave the game because the menu is also at one FPS. There we go. Come on. Let me leave. Let me leave. Hey, we got out of there. Look at this. So you know how there are those YouTube channels that like play the game, but they don't have PCs that can run Minecraft. And then when they record, it runs at like a terrible frame rate that they should know is bad on YouTube. I like to clarify, I've done this exact same thing. Uh, but you know, let's let's do that today. So hello, my BX Toycat, and welcome back to my let's play of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I don't have the best PC yet, but I'm hoping that one day I'll be a good YouTuber and that people will give me money to make a better PC. So right now, as you can see, we're looking at a Plains biome. I really like Plains biomes because they're flat. I actually got this seed from Toycat Seed Sunday. True fact, by the way. Check out Seed Sunday. It was really great this week. Hey, we got away from it. Look, we're back at regular speed Minecraft. See, we can go from one FPS to that that fast. And if we go back, we can go from this FPS to that real fast. So pro tip, if you ever want to remove uh, command blocks that are a bit too far away, just like fill the blocks of air from a distance. And then what you can actually do after a few misses as you can remove the block from a distance. And although the lag is going to come back, because it's not spawning anymore, it should be less. Also, this is weird. As you can see, what's... Oh, God. Okay, this is not a smart idea. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> they're like... <laughs> they're so slow to render in that they literally have to do it, like, one by one. Oh, man. The, the slowness of even the rendering of the boats is crazy. Let's try and go to the top of this. Okay, so I've left the game for about five minutes and nothing has happened in that time. I think we've truly broken it now. So, uh, I think it's fair to say everything is broken at this point. I mean, I don't want to make too many assumptions, but the screen, it looks pretty black to me. You tell me if you, uh, have a difference in opinion there. But, yeah, uh, I was gonna end up by saying you could do this with, uh, minecart chests and make a really cool storage system that can't be seen from a distance, and you could maybe work around with that. But, I guess, you'll just have to assume that I had a whole thing I was gonna show you and talk about with that. Because, uh, yeah, we've broken everything. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take some time to un unbreak this, I think. I think the black just changed color there, right? So maybe, maybe things aren't so broken. There's something going on behind the scenes. Oh, no, si oh, okay, that's really bad. That means the Xbox stopped putting out a signal. <laughs> My screen's gone blue, oh God. Well, you know, uh, today I learned that you can crash your whole Xbox. Um, even the Xbox One X, the most powerful console around right now, it cannot handle boats going to the ceiling of Minecraft. And I guess it's useful that we learn that lesson. Is it really though? Oh, whatever. So thank you very much for watching this video, I guess. Like it if you liked it, share if you liked it, and subscribe when you're around here. Because as always, we play around with command blocks, we break our game. It's just, it's just the standard of these sorts of things. And yeah, maybe you want to play around with this, do some of your own fun things. Uh, this was just a fun goof around session that I hope you all enjoyed, because I'll see you next time. Goodbye.